OK Class is a continuation of our discussion on merchandising type of business. Let us discuss freight cost or transportation cost. As what is discussed in our module, we have two kinds of terms in terms of freight charges. We have FOB shipping point and FOB destination. In the case of FOB shipping point, The ownership passes to buyer at this point. Ibig sabihin, upon shipment, nagkakaroon na ng transfer of ownership. The ownership of the goods passes to the buyer when the public carrier accepts the goods from the seller. So dahil nagkaroon na ng transfer of ownership at this point, the buyer will now pay the freight charges. On the other hand, under the FOB destination, the ownership passes to buyer at this point. So, ownership of the goods remain with the seller until the goods reach the buyer. So, since dito pa lamang sa point na ito magkakaroon ng um, change in the ownership during transit, ang may-ari pa yung seller, therefore, the seller is the one responsible in paying the freight charges. Freight costs incurred by the seller are an operating expense. Freight costs um, burn or freight, cor freight cost na ang buyer ay nagbayad will be part of the inventory. So in this case, dahil buyer po ang nagbabayad ng freight cost, ang tawag dun sa transportation na yun ay transportation in. In this case, dahil seller po ang kailangan magbayad ng freight cost, ang tawag sa kanya ay transportation out. Transportation in is part of the inventory. Transportation out is part of operating expenses. So in this case, assume upon delivery of the goods, um, our, our company pays public freight company 150 for freight charges. So as I've mentioned kanina, it will be part of the inventory. On the other hand, there's a pangalawang scenario natin. Since it's part of the expenses of the seller, any payment made by all the supply is part of freight out or transportation out. Transportation out is an example of an account title being used categorized as operating expenses, specifically selling and distribution expense. Okay, so what is purchase returns and allowances? Of course, as a purchaser or as a buyer, you may be dissatisfied or unsatisfied of the goods that you receive. Either it is damaged, it is defective, or its quality is um, inferior to what you're expecting, or it do not meet your specification. So in this case, as a buyer, if the fault is on the point of view of the seller, you may return your merchandises and there's a possibility of um, allowances. So what's the difference between a purchase return and a purchase allowance? So in this case, a purchase return, return goods for credit if the sale was made in credit or for a cash refund, if the purchase was for cash. For purchase allowance, may choose to keep the merchandise if the seller will grant a reduction of the purchase price. So, ang pinagkaiba ng dalawa, under the purchase return, kung hindi ka satisfied din sa product na receive mo, pwede mo siyang isole sa iyong seller. On the other hand, kapag ka purchase allowance naman, if you are not satisfied but you are willing to keep the merchandise and to accept the merchandise, pero merong reduction sa presyo. So, that is part of your purchase allowance. So, basically, class, that's the difference between a purchase return and a purchase allowance. Purchase return, isasoli mo talaga yung item. Purchase allowance, um, ikikip mo yung item, pero re-request ka na mag-grant ka ng reduction in the purchase price. So, how are you going to record the goods returned? So, of course, 
just reverse what is being uh, done in your purchase of merchandise. So, bawasan mo lang yung accounts receivable mo dahil binawasan mo yung accounts receivable mo dahil meron kang sinoli, pabawasan mo yung iyong inventory. And again, under the perpetual system, any movement in the inventory, pag may dumating, may lumabas, may sinoli, may binalik, anything that is being or any changes in your inventory must be reflected in the records by debiting or crediting the inventory account. A review question in a perpetual inventory system, a return of defective merchandise being purchased is recorded by crediting. Of course, the answer is inventory account. So these three, yung purchases, purchase returns, and purchase allowance, ginagamit po ang account title na ito under the, perpet, uh, the periodic system. But under the perpetual system, what you are using is inventory account lang. So how about purchase discounts? So ang purchase discounts, um, ginagamit yan when you purchase an account. So in the credit terms, Credit terms may permit buyer to claim a cash discount for prompt payment. So, kagaya nga na mentioned natin before, uh, dalawa yung klase ng discounts. It can be trade discounts and it can be cash discounts. Ang trade discounts, hindi yan nire-record sa libro. Ang intention ng trade discounts is to encourage volume of purchase. Ibig sabihin, you are encouraging na marami, maraming bilhin na product sa'yo dahil nagbibigay ka ng discount. On the other hand, kapag ka cash discount ang pinag-uusapan, the purpose of the cash discount is to encourage prompt or early payment. Ang cash dis discount categorized into two or uh, being referred to sa dalawa. It can be sales discount and purchase discount depende kung kaninong point of view ang pinag-uusapan. Kung yan ay point of view ng buyer, purchase discount ang tawag sa kanya. Kung yan ay point of view ng seller, Sales discount ang tawag sa kanya. So, what are the advantages of purchase discount? Of course, the purchaser saves money dahil mababawasan ang kanyang babayaran. And on the point of view of the seller, And on the point of view of the seller, it will shorten the operating cycle by converting the accounts receivable into cash earlier. So, kesa maghintay ka pa ng matagal na, na period, matagal na panahon, you just offer cash discount to your, to your buyer so that yung operating cycle mo, kung saan yung cash mo babalik sa cash, will be um, shortened. Okay. So, in terms of uh, discounts, ito yung mga terms na ginagamit natin, 2, 10, and 30. So, anong ibig sabihin ng 2, 10, and 30? 2% um, discount if paid within 10 days, otherwise net amount due within 30 days. So, from the date of sale, the moment na nag-issue ka ng sales invoice, for example, or purchase invoice, ang na-receive mo, uh, when, you receive, when you pay within 10 days, you'll get 2% discount. If you were not able to pay it in the uh, within 10 days, wala ka nang makukuha ng discount and you have to pay it within 30 days. Ano naman ang ibig sabihin ng 110 EOM? So, under 110 EOM, you will be receiving 1% discount if you pay within first 10 days of next month. So, pang sinabi ng EOM, end of month. So, halimbawa, uh, nagbenta or bumili ka ng product mo, let us say, January, January 22 of 2020. So, the end of month of January 22 of January is January 31. So, if you will be able to pay within first 10 days of next month, ibig sabihin, February 1 to February 10, pag nakapagbayad ka within those days, you will receive 1% discount. So, ang tinitingnan natin dito is end of month ng kung kailan ka nakapag or kailan ka bumili. Okay. Tapos bibilang ka ng sampung araw after ng end of month na yun. Ito namang pangatlo, not amount you within first 10 days of the next month. So same, ganun din. 
yung net amount ba kailangan mong mabayaran first 10 days of the next month. EOM is end of month. Ibig sabihin ng EOM is end of month. Okay. So, this is an example. Nag-purchase ka na nag-avail ka ng uh, um, purchase returns. So, in this case, or should I say, mayroon kang sinole na products. So in this case, you have here 3,500. Why? Dahil yung, yung binili mo kanina na 3,800, nag-soli ka ng 300. So, if you avail, for example, a discount period, Okay. So, nakapagbayad ka within the discount period. So, syempre, yung total na ma mawawala mong utang is 3,500. Again, sa so nanggaling yung 3,500, kanina, nag-purchase ka ng 3,800, meron kang sinoling 300 worth of merchandise. So, 3,500 3, na lang talaga yung utang mo. Okay. Okay. But since nakaabot ka sa discount period, magkakaroon ka ng purchase discount na 70. So, yung cash na babayaran mo, 3,430 na lang. So, saan mapapapunta yung 70? Yung 70, ibabawas mo doon sa inventory. Okay. Because that is considered to be purchase discount. 